Salutations, friends. It's your pal, Sid CB. And I am out at, uh, what is this place called? Canyon Creek. Uh, Canyon Creek Trailhead, I think. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been out here. Um, quite some time. Uh, it's the original place that I decided to take some Malice and Wonderland uh, photos. Carrying my Malice on me. And encountered a bunch of mushrooms and thought it was clever. But anyway, uh, this is where I'm at. There we go. Uh, I think this is the Skagit River, but I'm not positive. Um, I just uh, decided to get in the truck and go. Uh, I'm going to do some rambling. I canceled the live stream uh, for today. Uh, I would typically be going live at the time of recording this in about an hour or so. About 40 minutes or so. Uh, and I decided to cancel the live stream this morning. I uh, just wasn't feeling it. I hinted at it uh, during late night with said faction last night, uh, which was a really fun uh, live stream. Uh, we went uh, actually pretty dang late, but um, yeah, just wasn't feeling it today. Uh, not feeling like going live. And, uh, got bored sitting around the house. There's plenty of stuff I should be doing. I went on a long walk this morning, but I figured, you know what the heck? Uh, let me get out and about. Uh, the fam is still sick, so I need to kind of be isolating from them uh, anyway. Here's a trail that I'm on. Uh, this is like a six-mile trail. I don't think I'm going to do all uh, six miles today. We'll see. i still got another hour and a half or so of uh, daylight. I'm having to traverse uh, the fallen timber out here. Uh, look at There's some shrooms. Get some photos of those later, but uh, yeah, I took a two-hour drive out on the uh, this is the Cascade Highway, Highway 20 uh, that goes up through northeastern Washington State and yeah, uh, I just wanted to go for a bit of a hike today, so uh, we'll see what happens. Look at this big old patch of shrooms that I found. No, to the people that are inevitably going to ask, these are not the uh, magic variety. Uh, those are out here, but I think these are called sulfur tufts. Uh, this trail is pretty hammered. Um, kind of shows uh, what I've been talking about in that uh, the river is low right now, but we get into our flood season and it these rivers really top off. And, you got some evidence of uh, how the, you know, fallen trees get carried and pushed up along the bank. But I don't think this is a super popular place, uh, which is kind of why I picked it. But uh, there we go. That's where the trail, I got to start actually doing some climbing a little bit. Anywho. Don't want to fall. And I did just twist the fuck out of my ankle. So that might have uh, really put a hamper on what I'm going to try to do here. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a judgment call. And it's a bit of a bummer because it looks like a lot of fun to uh, continue up this way. But uh, coming up, I need to be careful of my footing here. Coming up. The trail uh, where I just showed you guys um, twisted my ankle. Uh, I'm not being a pansy, it legit hurts, and I don't want to get with that being definitely more challenging of a hike. Uh, it's not worth risking it because, um, yeah, it's a long way down and. I don't want to fall. I got something in my beard. Nope, that's just a gray. So I'm going to head back down and there's actually a, a split off trail. Uh, probably about 15 minute walk back. And I'm going to check that out instead. So plan B.
or this wasn't even plan B, just new plan. Back down. Uh, that was not fun. Uh, that's the first time I've really kind of messed up my ankle after messing it, messing it up, growing up. Uh, I don't know how many times broke both my ankles at some one point from skateboarding uh, as a younger kid. But uh, yeah, just stepped wrong and um, coming back down was uh, more painful than I anticipated. Uh, right now I'm probably about, I started the video, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes into the hike. Uh, so I'm probably 20 minutes or so from the truck. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big deal to walk back, but I'm going to keep trekking on on flat ground. I don't, it's, I don't think it's going to be as bad, but right now I just posted up on the riverbank and, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to get through this part where it's uh, more flat so I can record. So I guess the, uh, the backup plan is to just kind of mosey along and Maybe do some sh more shroom hunting than I had anticipated. All sorts of varieties out here, but... Uh, yeah. As I mentioned, I did a walk this morning already. And uh, it was during the annular solar eclipse. Uh, I got some decent footage of it. Uh, posted it as a story. Maybe I'll roll it into this as well. But... Yeah, uh, a little shy or a little over two miles I did this morning. I'm trying to do at least another two or three this afternoon. I don't know if I'll get there, but uh, we'll see. Well, here's where the trail uh, heads out. To a different uh, location up uh, this way here. I don't know where that goes though. I've never scouted that area. Uh, that's where I just came from. And now it's uh, mushroom hunting out in these uh, this little uh, field here. But a little bit of a bust. And as much as I want to go check out that area, again, I am. Uh, I don't. I'm not really limping, but I'm favoring my. Uh, right ankle, and it's kind of stifling uh, the plan, as I mentioned earlier. I'm not really finding any uh, mushrooms. It's kind of stifling the plan as well. Uh, they can't all be bangers, folks. They can't all be bangers. Uh, also, uh, just like I wasn't really feeling like going live, um, I'm realizing I don't really got the ramble in me today. Uh, I bet you that there's Some good shrooms out in this way, but I'm not going to walk down there. Um, yeah, uh, I don't got the rambles in me. And I ain't going to force it. So, uh, it's probably best that um, I just enjoy my time out here. Uh, put the camera away and uh, just wander about. You know? Uh, this is definitely a Sasquatch country out here, though, for sure. If I were Sasquatch, and I lived in the Pacific Northwest, this is where I'd hang out. Back across the bridge. Uh, so that means I'm probably 100 yards or so uh, from the truck. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe I won't end up putting all this footage together maybe I will I don't know uh, this one seems like a total dud uh, not my best work as it were and yeah I guess I got a lot on my mind today that's what I'm realizing more than anything uh, as I'm strutting along do 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 um I don't have a lot to talk about because my mind's going a uh, mile a minute. Uh, which 
ultimately, uh, what's on my mind is one of the reasons why I canceled uh, the live stream. So I don't know. I kind of feel like I should release this no matter what. Uh, the good and the bad. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'll end it here, though, since I'm out towards uh, Diablo Lake uh, Vista Point, uh, which is where I've filmed there a couple times from the snow uh, with Ella. Uh, it's a nice stop along the highway uh, back home. Maybe I'll stop there, and that's where I'll ultimately wrap things up uh, with some majestic views of uh, Diablo Lake. Well, I stopped at the Lake Diablo Observatory, Overlook Vista, and there had to have been 30 cars there. Um, it was packed, so I didn't even bother to get out. Um, I figured I'd just start heading home, then I realized I didn't, uh, I didn't actually end the uh, rambling. I'm in such a meh kind of mood um I just kind of forgot about it so uh I decided to stop at the uh this is the gorge overlook trail or something uh I just took some video of the signage uh where I'm at uh the highway's back up over there um there's that uh can I get a shot of the a waterfall back there. Maybe a shot of the, uh, there's the lake, uh, Gorge Lake uh, behind me. But yeah, uh, stopped here to get some more steps in really. Uh, I was hoping to do at least another two miles uh, while I was out and about. And I only ended up doing a little over a mile at uh, Canyon Creek. So uh, this isn't very far, uh, half a mile uh, in and out. Uh, it's a trail, but it's all paved. Uh, that's some decent scenery. But as I mentioned, uh, yeah, um, as I left, uh, I, I, I'm in a funky mood, and I didn't. I, I kind of knew it. Again, that's why I canceled, got a lot on my mind. But it wasn't until I was out there uh, at the last stop and then heading back that I realized how much of a meh kind of mood I was in. That's really the only way I can uh, describe it is meh. But then I get out here and there's scenery like this and it definitely helps. But yeah, I'm willing to bet the vibe of this whole video is just meh. Uh, no drones, apparently. There's some signage. I have been out here before. Uh, I think I filmed when I had gotten my slingshot. Which reminds me, I gotta find what I did with that slingshot and all the pellets that I got. I think I filmed something out here before. That was a while ago. But... Yeah, it is uh, being out here in spots like this that definitely helped the meh uh, go away. But, uh, anywho, it's just one of those things. Uh, sometimes you're feeling great, and then other days just not so much. And that's okay. Uh, I guess it's just... I've been riding such a long streak of feeling great uh, to be slipping a little bit backwards into uh, a little bit of a funk is, uh, you know, just a reminder that it happens. It happens. It happens to all of us, right? Uh, this is definitely a good spot, though, to uh, walk. It's nice and flat. Uh, my ankle, uh, it's probably going to be swollen a little bit. I'm hoping that doesn't hinder uh, my walking too much. Um, I'm able to 
it's sore right now. Um, I can definitely push through it, but if it gets worse, I think walking four or five miles a day on it uh, is probably going to be pushing it until it's uh, healed up. This is the end of the paved trail. Uh, I think it goes for a little bit further. Um, unpaved. Yeah. Well, we shall see. Maybe I'll keep going. There's the view from up here. That's the uh, Gorge High Dam. Transmission lines. If you want to pause and read that. Uh, this area, uh, these hydro dams supply a lot of the electricity for uh, the greater Seattle area. So that's what's going on out here. So uh, I've decided not to continue down the trail. Uh, I'm just going to pop a squat here. I have been popping a squat here uh, for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. Uh, taking in uh, this view. Fairly quiet. You can still hear a little bit of the uh, road, the highway noise there. But uh, really just hear the, the dam out into the distance. And then uh, the nature. So... But yeah, uh, I don't want to push it on the ankle. I didn't think too much of it initially. I'm like, I'll be able to walk it off. But trying to walk it off, and I don't know. I'm probably being way over dramatic about it, in all honesty. It's probably going to be fine. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I got for you folks. Uh, again, a little meh, meh, just not, you know, I'm not in a horrible mood, I'm not in a total funk, but uh, a little bit, that looks all wonky, sorry, uh, I digress, I never know where to look, uh, also, the uh the doctor who has definitely been a bit of a brain scrambler so i'm gonna end up truly rambling at this point so i think i'm gonna end it here folks definitely gonna end it here uh not too far of a walk back to the truck probably just at a mosey and pace and yeah so i appreciate y'all uh coming along with me today uh the good the bad and the ugly i guess there's no reason to not uh share that right so yeah uh i do appreciate uh, uh those of you that have tuned in uh today and uh i'll be back again soon and until then, I bid all you mofos, or deuces.